Hey Pirates, PK here. Today, I want to talk to you about the coding languages I would learn if I could start over. It's so many options like C, C++, C Sharp, Java, JavaScript, Python, Swift, etc. It can be overwhelming to decide which ones to focus on, especially if you are a beginner. But fear not, because I've got you covered. I also have a big announcement about CodeGoda, an annual programming competition hosted by this video sponsor, Agoda. But more on that later. Just for context, I'm PK, a software engineer in Seattle. I used to work at Microsoft, Amazon, and eBay. The first programming language I would learn is Python. According to Stack Overflow Developer Survey, Python was the second most popular programming language in 2022 after JavaScript. With the rise of machine learning, AI, and data science, it's quickly becoming the go-to language for modern applications. Numerous conglomerates like Google, Meta, Microsoft, and Amazon have adopted Python for years. Python is also one of the easiest programming languages to learn. For those starting to learn to code, I recommend it as your first language. Its syntax is so simple and easy that it's considered considered the most beginner-friendly language. If you want to learn to code, I recommend the crash course in Python offered by Google on Coursera. You even earn a prestigious Google Career Certificate you can put on your resume and LinkedIn after course completion. Use my link below to enroll for free. Python won't disappoint you if you want an easy to learn, high career profile language. If I could go back in time and learn to code from scratch again, I would definitely learn Python. Next, we have JavaScript. According to the Stack Overflow Developer Survey, it's been the most commonly used programming language for 10 consecutive years. That's because JavaScript is virtually used everywhere. For example, most software engineers are involved with web technologies in one way or another, and JavaScript is the dominant player in that space. Look at the most commonly used web technologies list. The top six are all JavaScript based. You can pretty much say that everything you do on your web browser also runs on JavaScript. JavaScript is also versatile. For instance, you can become a full stack developer with JavaScript alone. React.js is the most popular front-end framework. Node.js, a back-end framework, is the most commonly used web technology. What's more, React Native allows developers to create Android and iOS apps with native capabilities using the React framework. If I were to look for my first job again, I would learn JavaScript to break into the industry. c -sharp comes in third on my list. According to Stack Overflow Developer Survey, c -sharp is the second most commonly used strongly type programming language after Java. Despite c -sharp coming in second place, I still recommend c -sharp over Java because it's easier, simpler, more practical, and more convenient on multiple locations. For example, you can build Windows applications, backend servers, cloud apps, native Android and iOS apps using Xamarin, games with Unity, the Internet of Things, etc. with C Sharp. That's why .NET, a C Sharp based framework, was voted the most popular library in non web domains. As a former Microsoft engineer, I know that learning C Sharp will broaden my career spectrum. Before we proceed, I want to introduce this video's sponsor, Agoda, and its annual coding competition, CodeGoda. CodeGoda is an annual programming competition hosted by Agoda. It's one of the biggest competitions in the region with over 20,000 participants joining across the globe. Coders from all levels are welcome to participate from anywhere in the world. Whether you are a beginner or an expert, it's a great place to test your coding skills and have fun. Here are the game rules. Participants are given three hours to solve six algorithmic problems online. The fastest person to submit the most accurate solution will get the top points. There's a cash prize totaling $10,000 with the winner taking $3,500. In addition, the top female quarter will win $500 and everyone in the top 100 will get a cool CodeGoda t-shirt. The nine hour programming competition will take place on April 1st. Register with my link below. Java comes in fourth place. According to Stack Overflow, it's the most popular, strongly and statically typed language. c -sharp falls behind Java in popularity, mainly because Java has a log of legacy code. It's also worth noting that big guys like Google and Amazon use Java, but only Microsoft uses c -sharp. Despite slowly losing its dominance, Java's ubiquitous with over 3 billion devices running on it. Many server applications are written in Java using frameworks like Spring. Java's no longer the official programming language for Android development, but remains relevant in the industry. Nonetheless, 
Java is still one of the core programming languages I will learn to deepen my computer science fundamentals. The fifth on my list is C++. It's actually an essential programming language if I were to become a game developer again. However, C++ is probably one of the most convoluted and difficult to write programming languages in the world. Even the senior operating systems engineers at Microsoft with decades of experience still confess they spend more time fighting its syntax than the logic. That's how bloody complicated C++ is. I absolutely have no clue why some schools teach introductory programming courses with C++. It pains me to hear students give up on coding because they couldn't keep up with the language. Coding is not for everyone, but C++ is the language with the steepest learning curve. But then, why C++? What is C++ for? As I mentioned, I would learn it if I were to become a game dev again. C++ is powerful. It's one of the fastest and most efficient programming languages out there. Most high-end games like PlayStation, Xbox, and Unreal Engine rely on C++. Pretty much any software that requires heavy computing power on limited hardware, like virtual reality headsets and smart glasses, is written in C++. Having said that, I wouldn't learn C++ as my first programming language due to its complexity. Learn it only if you are serious about it. Lastly, I have SQL. SQL stands for Structured Query Language, a programming language used to communicate with databases. It's also the language required for building the backend. There are two types of databases, relational and non-relational. The latter is also called NoSQL. Both have pros and cons, but if I must choose one, I would learn NoSQL as it's easier and more flexible. Before I close off, let me share my thoughts on C. C is a great programming language. It's after all, the father of all programming languages. I have nothing against it and I have used it before. However, I wouldn't learn it as a beginner like C++. Hear me out. C can be confusing for beginners due to the concept called pointers. C is probably the only high-level programming language with pointers still intact. Others, like Java and C Sharp, have abstracted them to make it easier for developers to focus on the logic. In fact, that's how Java was born. One of Java's primary goals was to evolve into a C-like language with greater simplicity by removing pointers. Learning C will indeed help you better understand low-level computer systems, but at the cost of adding extra complexity. If I could start learning to code over, I would rather revisit C after mastering the fundamentals with easier languages like Python. So there you have it, Pirates, the coding language I would learn if I could start over. If you're looking for a career with a high earning potential, you might want to consider becoming a software engineer. I recommend trying Springboard if you're looking for an affordable online tech bootcamp with a job guarantee. As a former Springboard mentor, I can attest to the effectiveness of his programs. You can also get a $1,000 discount on any program with my coupon code, Barry King. If you have US work authorization and are struggling to find work in today's tough job market, try Pathrise. Pathrise is an online program designed specifically for tech professionals like you. With one-on-one -on -one mentorship, training, and expert advice, Pathrise will guide you through every step of your job search and help you land your dream job. Pathrise believes in online incentives, meaning you only pay if you succeed in getting hired and start working at a high paying job first. I used to work as a Pathrise mentor myself, so I can personally vouch for its effectiveness. Get started for free, links in the descriptions. Whatever language you decide, try to stick to it. Don't give up midway. As a software engineer, perseverance is essential. I promise you, if you master one language, you'll realize that all programming languages are virtually the same. Don't forget to check out Code Goda and register for the competition. Comment, like, subscribe. Happy coding.